Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 2537 that says count the number of codes of virus. So here you are given an integer array nums and an integer k and we need to return good sub address of nums. So uh, the definition of good sub array is defined as uh, there must be at least k pairs of indices i and j where array of i equal equals to array of j means both the numbers are same. So you need uh, and there must be k such pairs in a sub array and you need to find the count of such good sub arrays. For the, a sub array is a continuous non-empty sequence of elements with an array, within an array. Okay, so let's take a look of first example. Here nums array is given for with all five elements as one and k as 10. So here the output is one because uh, the index means the number of uh, possible pairs from this array is 10 means the maximum possible number of pairs uh, that are good is 10 because see uh, let me show you here so so here there are 1 1 1 1 1 let me name the index so the possible pair are 0 1 0 2 0 3 0, 4, then 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, okay, and also 1 is remaining, I guess, 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, in 3, 4, correct, so this is 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's how 10 possible pairs are there in this complete array, so if you want to take any part of a sub array, you won't get any, you won't get a 10 possible uh, answer, or 10, 10 possible pairs, so that's why since the k is 10 we return uh, 1 because there is only one possible sub array that is the complete array now let's take a look at this another example so here k is 2 so you we need to find two pairs that have uh, that are same uh, in value so in th this is the first array that has two pairs this is the second sub array this is the third sub array and this is the fourth sub array so based, uh, based on seeing this question as well as a taste test, so you might have got some of the idea of how you would solve this question. So uh, here, uh, since we are taking a range uh, from let's say i is equal to 0 to i is less say 5. So in this range, is if it is possible to find k sub array or not. So this, this is how we think of a, a sliding window or two pointers. So sliding window is a window where we check for let's say for this example uh, we check from here to here if it is possible or not then we check for different sizes window to get answer uh, that satisfy our condition so this is the intuition behind this that we will use sliding window technique okay and the another thing to note here is uh, let's say in the above example here the frequency of the element 1 was 5 so number of possible pairs here would be 5 into 5 minus 1 divided by 2 because uh, from let's say there are, there are 5 elements and we have to select 2 elements so this is the formula because uh, so so yeah this is the formula where we have to select 2 items from the 5 present items okay um, so based on the combination formula that is n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial we would solve this so since here uh, r is 2 r equal to 2 we get n factorial divided by 2 factorial into n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial let me explain you this uh, thing in a whole detail so let's say for any n n factorial we can write, write like this n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial correct here r factorial r is always 2 because we need to select pairs so it would be 2 factorial and n minus 2 factorial this both get cancelled out so our formula will become n into n minus 1 by 2 because 2 factorial is 2 so if the frequency of any, n, any element is n then we can form this many of pairs so this is our second intuition we got from this question so i hope you guys uh, understood somewhat of how we would solve this question somewhat logic and now let's move on to the approach so basically what we would do we would take i two pointers i equals to zero and j equals to zero and n is the total number of elements 
correct now we would take one uh, frequency map so uh, let me write uh, this example in a big uh, readable format four three two two four okay so uh, let's say for here frequency of three is one uh, let me name it as frequency uh, let's see here i here j and let me take as answer so a number of possible pad from here with this frequency is this so it is zero because one minus one is zero we increment our uh, j from here to here now j has at here frequency of three is one frequency of two is also one but answer is still remain zero we can't form any pair now we again move j to here frequency of three is one frequency of two is one and frequency of four is one but our answer is still zero because if you apply this uh, frequency into this formula our answer still remains zero so we again move j to here here now frequency of three becomes two and others for two and for four it is still one and our answer changes to one we can form one pair here now let's move j ahead okay we move j here now the frequency of two is all uh, two is two so the total frequency is like that for the element three for the element two and for the element four and our answer it becomes two correct because we can form two pairs here so whenever we reach this condition uh, where answer is greater than equal to k see k here is two so whenever we reach condition we will try to increment our i and cal uh, and uh, uh, calculate our result so uh, see now uh, result would be see here what it would be here it would be zero 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 and here it would be n minus j why because till here we can uh, see one possible sub array would be this because we got our two pairs here then it is definitely possible if we increment j from here to here we will get our answer and again till the end if we increment j we will get our answer so total number of possible sub addresses at that point would be n minus j so n is 7 here that is 7 and j is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 that is 3 so as you can see here this is one sub add whole, whole this is second sub add and this is third sub add so this is how we will calculate the result got it uh, at this situation we will try to increment uh, i i to i plus 1 and again calculate this answer so if you uh, increment i plus 1 then the frequency of 3 will reduce to 1 uh, and the answer and the current answer would be become one and that is less than k so we would stop what we would do we would simply stop okay and then we would again increment j here now frequency of three I see and the uh, also uh, the i is here because we have incremented the i at this step got it so currently the frequency of three is one frequency of two is three now and frequency of 4 is 1 so uh, based on the since the frequency of 3 sorry frequency of element 2 is 3 and if we apply the in this formula it would uh, give us answer 3 into 2 by 2 so that is that would be 3 so currently our answer is 3 now again we would add to our result result plus equal to here the j value is 4 and n is 7 uh, that is 7 minus sorry j value is 5 that is Two. We incremented two to our result. Why? Because one possible sub array is from here to here, and another possible sub array is from here to here. So that's why we incremented by two. So I hope you guys are understanding what I am trying to tell here and how we would approach this question. Now again, by incrementing i to i plus one, we would what we are doing. We are just trying to reduce the size of the sub array and checking for the word new answer. Got it? So this is how we would uh, solve this question and I, I think now let's move on to the coding part uh, for better understanding. 
so yes here first we uh, let me take uh, one n as the size of the nouns array then uh, let me take two pointers i and j and initialize with zero let me take one long long answer as zero and current as zero and let me take one another uh, frequency storing data structure that is unordered map let me give it frequency and we would traverse while j is less than n so what we would do we would uh, 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 increment the frequency of nums of j we would calculate the current answer uh, so let me make one separate function to calculate this long long calc long long answer equal to n into n minus 1 and what we would do is we would simply divide answer by 2 and we would return answer so this is uh, simply this formula as we discussed n into n minus 1 by 2 we simply did that here uh, so this is this is calc function now uh, whenever uh, i is less than j n this value of current is greater than or equal to k at that point what we would do we would increment our answer first that is n minus j then uh, what we would do we would uh, now our focus is to increment i but before incrementing I, what we uh, we would uh, have to remove the frequency means remove the value of the nums of i from this current because let's say for an example uh, if our current is let's say value at 7 frequency of let's say uh, nums of of i was uh, let's say 3 so the contribution of this in the current would be 3 into 3 minus 1 2 by 2 that is 3 uh, but now what we are doing is we are uh, decrementing this frequency of nums of i minus minus but before doing that we have to remove the current what we have to current minus equal to contribution of this frequency that is a calculation of frequency of nums minus 1 nums of i then uh, we are de incrementing our i uh, by and removing this frequency and again after removing this we will add its contribution with a new frequency into the current got it say we remove the contribution of original frequency then we remove then we uh, incremented sorry then we decremented the frequency of i and we again add the contribution of new frequency of norms of i into this current got it and then we increment i okay so this is not uh, hard to understand we are simply removing the ith number so before that we are removing its contribution we are decrementing its frequency and then again uh, we are incrementing it that because uh, if the frequency initial frequency of was 3 but now also the frequency has changed to 2 but we still have to add the contribution of 2 frequency to our answer so that's so and finally we will increment j and return answer now let me try to run this code it should show me some error okay it's on order map Okay, but another thing to note here is what we did here, we decremented the means we removed the contribution of the previous frequency. The same thing we have to do it here because uh, initially, let's say, uh, yeah, initially the value uh, of uh, so let me take the initially, let's say the frequency of uh, nums of j was 2, then its contribution was. 
Anyway, its contribution was how much? By applying the formula, it's one. Now the contribution changes to now the frequency changes to three, but we can't add directly the contribution of three because we need and be, because this will give us wrong answer, and so we have to remove this original contribution also, and the new contribution would be three. Got it? So we are just removing the contribution of this frequency of the previous frequency from this current data. Now let us try to run this. Let us try to submit this. Okay, so our code got accepted. So I hope you guys understood the approach as well as solution to this problem. Now talking about the time complexity, this will take big of n times. And also for the uh, storage, that is the space complexity would be same as big of n. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have still any doubt, then let me know in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, and hit the like button for this video. Thank you.